I just got home from work and I have three packages. First up, this is should be the GoPro box. Here is their free memory card they gave, 32 gigabytes, but I also bought a separate one for 124, I think is the size, because I never wanna worry about memory space ideally. And here we are. I will say that when I decided to buy the GoPro, I knew that it has a fair amount of issues with it. I am gonna try not to expect too much out of it because I know somebody else that bought this recently as well and he has been confirming basically the fact that the battery sucks ass. So I was thinking that since 4K will drain the shit out of this, which is a little pathetic because if you're advertising it can do 4K 60fps, you should try to make sure your camera can record in that format for a good amount of time. So I was thinking because of that, that I would try to record in 1080p for most of it. Um, the feature for this that I liked the most was the hyper smooth stabilization, of course. Yeah, so they had a limited edition version that is white, uh, although this is technically gray. Maybe I thought it was white, but yeah, looks more gray to me. I bought earplugs because I learned a couple days ago that it is very, very bad for your ears when you're on the highway, all that wind noise, and I also have music playing, right? And I tend to put the music pretty loud and that all of that will be very bad for your ears over time. There's a ringing effect after riding at times. So I bought these that I can wear and these are ones that you just kind of clean yourself so they're not one-time use ones. Some people actually spent money investing in custom earplugs, 100 to $200 and you put them in and they don't fall out until you want to take them out, which sounds very nice. And maybe in the future when I have play money, you know, maybe in the future $100 will be chump change for me and then maybe then will I get custom earplugs. But for now, I got these. These are called earpiece, P-E-A-C-E, -E, and these are specifically for motorsports. They have different lines. I guess some are more for concerts and stuff. So actually, I'm just gonna... Well, I think the first thing I should do anyways with this GoPro is charge it. So I set my GoPro to charge right now. I will have to say that using it already seems a little annoying because, for example, you can't charge it when it's in the case. So if I have to take the case off every single time I want to charge, that's going to be something I do daily. So that sounds like shit already. But I will try out these earpieces. Oh. Maybe I should do this with a mirror, but. Hmm, that felt a little too easy to put in. I just got home from work and my brother's flight is delayed by about two hours. Normally he was gonna get here around 7.30. Now it's more like 9.30, so I have a bit more time to myself before I have to rush over and pick him up. I got my chin mount for my motorcycle. So I kind of wanted to attach it and kind of ooh, see how it will work out because I've been eager to record, but I needed this first. So let's get this over with. What the frick? Double bag, the chin mount, and then the J hook to attach my GoPro to my camera, uh, to my helmet. So let me go get my GoPro. Just so, well, nah, screw it. Let me deal with this first. Anyways, they gave me a sterile alcohol prep pad, which is good because I was gonna use baby wipes and that doesn't have the alcohol content. That would be nice to clean off anything and everything. So it says first, clean mounting area. So I will do that. This will be my mounting area in this general area. Snap. Snap. Fuck. What the hell? Am I this weak? All right. And it has different, a little bit different angles, which is nice. So let me see. OK, 
Okay, I actually think I got it. So even though the logo is upside down and you know what? <laughs> I'm gonna stop staring at the fact that it's not symmetrical. I really, really hate that shit. And for something that's permanent like this, uh, let's stop thinking about it. But this is what I ended up with. So the thing is originally, let me turn the sound off. It might mm -hmm. um, get in the way of my train of thought. So I originally had fucking kids on their scooters <laughs> right outside my window. So I originally had this J hook upside down and that limited the range that I could put my camera and the angles it had, especially upside down like this. So now that it's flipped like this, I think it'll be perfect. I might even angle it more up like this. I'll have to play around with it when I do ride, but I'm really happy about this. Something I'm not happy about is that earlier when I was switching the resolution from 1440p to 4K, my fucking screen froze and I had to turn it off and back on. So I will admit my initial feeling just from the GoPro is already like, I think very poorly of it because I just expect battery to be shit and the screen freezing already is just dumb, but I have yet to actually record footage. so. I'll probably try that out. You know what? Maybe I'll have time this weekend, maybe. If not, I'll do it next week. Um, I'm taking Tuesday off to go to the zoo with my brother. So I was thinking if I have time during the day when there's still daylight, I will take a ride after our zoo trip and do this joy ride. Because if I wanna wait until next weekend, that's so long. I wanna do it beforehand. All right, it is nine o'clock-ish and Victor is going to arrive very soon. Um, I actually have been kind of really back and forth about his arrival because at first it's like, oh, this is going to be very exciting. Well, actually, I will admit, at first I was really concerned, right, about having him stay here and what that experience might be like if it might disrupt my life. But now that it's basically just here, I feel like all of those concerns have kind of gone away because I just feel like it's going to be really interesting. I haven't lived with him since we were teenagers. I also haven't seen him in two years, so I feel like it'll be really nice to spend the weekend with him in Joshua Tree, go to the zoo with him next week, and just be around each other again. Um, we haven't really been together very much for a very, very long time, especially not like seven days straight in a row. All of our family gatherings for holidays were always very brief, so... Um, I still have a couple more minutes before I need to leave, so I'll let this puppers out to piss and I might vacuum up a bit, make his home welcoming a little bit more pleasant than hair everywhere, maybe. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> she just does it by default when I raise it now. Oh, no. Okay, so oh. let's turn on the light. Um, it is the morning before we are heading out to Joshua Tree, and I generally have things packed. I'm kind of waiting for him to finish showering so I can bring shampoo, conditioner, that kind of stuff, and finish everything off. But I put her large crate into the car and it actually sucks. It doesn't fit in the back like it used to. I have to put it in the passenger seat, uh, not the passenger seat, the back seats while they're normal. Um, in the past I had them folded down, but now I put them back up and she is a different direction now. She's like horizontal compared to like um, being, okay, you know what? I, stupid, pointless to explain, but I finally introduced Chess to my brother and he has been putting it off so many times because he, I don't know, not interested, you know, hard to be motivated on your own and <clears throat> he has been playing World of Tanks a lot and spent a ton of money on it so that gives him incentive to play the game, in a, game a lot but I made him try some chess last night and he was kind of frustrated like most new players are although I kind of wish that people would not be frustrated and just be it like yeah I'm a new player I'm gonna suck I'm not gonna understand what to do but 
what I found funny was this morning while I was still sleeping, I heard him play some games by himself. And that's just funny to me because I've been trying to convince him to play. I would keep asking him to play, like, play with me, come on. But he wouldn't. So to see him voluntarily play on his own in the morning because he clearly enjoys it is pretty cool. Um, it is 9.55 right now. So I would like to leave soon because it takes like three hours to get there. And since we're going there, we might as well get there early-ish and have more time to explore, right? He kind of delayed us. I thought I would be the one delaying because I'm really tired. I still need more sleep. Because I feel like we should get there early, I decided to get up and shower. And I should try to make sure I don't forget anything also. So waiting for him to finish showering and then we will head out for Joshua Tree. Okay, so we have arrived at our destination, our Airbnb. Three hour drive, a little bit more. We stopped in the middle to eat some pho, but now we kind of want to take a little bit of a rest, at least I do. It's about two o'clock, but right now I'm just going to lock this gate up. Um, this guy has a lot of secure lock related stuff, so maybe he has good reason to do stuff like this. So even though we're going to be, I think we're going to stay for about half an hour before we head out again, I will lock the gate just to be safe. I don't know if I can do this with one hand actually, so hold on. Here's what it looks like. The funny thing is I can tell just from my brother's reaction to the area. First off, he doesn't actually like the fact that there's no Wi-Fi here. And I don't really expect that. Maybe because I go to remote locations, so I definitely don't expect it there. But he feels like it looks crappy. Obviously, based on appearance, it doesn't look so great on the outside, but the inside is actually pretty decent. I like the inside. I feel like he's just the type of person that likes to stay in luxurious places, and I don't want to spend the money for something that I'm just going to sleep in, right? So we're going to try to figure out where we want to go. So you walk in, and it's just like this. Random picture. We got a wolf picture up there couch. Victor will be sleeping here. Little kitchen. Bathroom on the left. Where is the light in this room? There's like no light in this room. Is it this one? Oh, okay. Kitchen area. Back door. You need to buy water? Oh, is there anywhere nearby we can buy? This is perfect, actually. I like that there's this corner back part of the house where I can keep her because it's very dim back here. And I think it'll be perfect. It's interesting, she wasn't even outside that much. Um, it is pretty hot out, but she's panting pretty hard and she wanted a lot of water, but we will be leaving soon, so I don't want her to have too much where it will feel like it will limit how long we can stay out. <laughs> My bed looks so comfy, right? I do wonder if it's safe. I would be scared, honestly. You depend on the grip of your shoes so much. Yeah, I, I do need hiking shoes. These look very interesting. Is this the dam? <laughs> we don't even know what we're looking at. The water does go over there though. Like it continues. Literally looks like the vagina. By taking a dump in a different habitat. <laughs> so Joshua Tree was <clears throat> Maybe not as expected. And I guess, I, honestly, it was a little weird to me that my brother suggested it because he's not a nature person. Um, he really likes to travel and stuff, but he doesn't like to hike for very long. So the fact that he suggested this trip was a mistake and I can kind of tell he was a little regretful, mainly because I'm doing all the driving and 
yeah, I'm doing all the driving. So I drove, we drove three hours, then 40 minutes to the hike, and then a couple longer in between hikes and then all the way back. So it's really tiring. And honestly, I am not the type of person that wants to do stuff the second I arrive after driving three hours. So I was probably not so thrilled about doing so many activities today, especially because we're leaving tomorrow and I just feel like, you know, he wants to get as much done because we happen to be here. Even though it has gotten much cooler now and I'm a little chilly being out here, I guess I wanted to give her some time to <clears throat> roam around. When I got back, she was just looking calm and everything in the crate, so I'm very happy about that. I guess this is just an environment I'm really not used to. I'm not used to desert at all, so I wanted to come out and look at it. It's uh, pretty much dim by now. Oh my goodness. What is that? Oh, we can't. The ground is all rock. No, I'm sorry, we can't. My poor baby. I'm sorry, we cannot. Hey! <laughs> Don't smack me with it. Ooh, see that pink glow in the sky? That's nice. And look on this side. On the drive over, it was pretty because I saw a lot of flowers, yellow flowers along the side. And there was also some mountains where you could see the snow at the very top because the sun was illuminating it and it looked so pretty. <laughs> Morning everybody. It's Sunday. Waking up in the desert and it's nice. Um, I feel pretty rested. Let's see what's outside the window. Not bad. Wow, all that light screwed up my camera. Good morning, you. I'm gonna let her out now. <laughs> the side head. Break. Good. All right, we gotta put on our color. 